Hi, my name is Dan, and this video is one in a series that I'm doing about AI in Unreal. And we're following a rolling example. And uh, so I'll just give you a quick reminder of uh, what it is that we're trying to achieve. So the AI character is going to stand on the spot, and if it can't see the player, it'll keep turning around looking in random directions. So every few seconds, it will turn and face in a different direction looking for the player. If the AI character catches sight of the player, it will stare at them. So as the player moves around, the AI character will rotate on the spot, uh, but keep facing the player as if it's watching them carefully. Once the AI character has had sight of the player, and if they then lose sight of the player, so if the player goes around a corner or something, uh, the AI character will then move to the last known location of the player. So it'll go to where it last saw the player. And then once it gets there, it goes back to looking round if it can't see the player, or if it does catch sight of the player, it'll revert to the staring. So uh, that then starts the cycle once again. If it loses sight of the, of the player again, then uh, it will again move to the last known location of the player. And a reminder of how far we've got. We've got a AI character. We've got a AI controller plugged into the character. We've got a blueprint, uh, blueprints, a uh, behavior tree, which is being executed. We've got several tasks, and we've got a um, uh, a service which is working out whether the AI can see the player or not. Um, and we're going to do the final step in this uh, little rolling example, which is to make it so that when the, um, when the AI character loses sight of the uh, player character, then they're going to move to the na last known location where the player was. So we're going to need two tasks for this, one of which to, we're going to use to set the last known location, and the other is to actually move to that last known location. Uh, this is a variable that we need to store inside our Blackboard. So let's add another key to the Blackboard, and it's going to be a vector, which is a location. And we're going to call it LKL for last known location. Um, save that. And we're going to pop into um, our tree here and create two new tasks. Uh, if we bring them up, in the editor, but I don't care because I want to rename them. So I'm just going to pop that down. And we're going to have, uh, we're going to name one STLK task set LKL. And then the other one I'm going to do is go to so STLK underscore test. Go to LKL. So let's do the set last known location first. So this is going to need a a variable for to get access to that blueprint key, as we've uh, seen before. So um, I'm going to call it my LKL, just so that save a bit of confusion. And it's a blackboard key selector. And uh, we're going to need uh, executes. So we're going to receive executes and let's just type execute to find these. Finish execute. Um, so it just needs to set the last known location of the player. So it's set blackboard key as the vector. And we need to get the uh, vector of the location of the actor. So uh, get player character. Character location. And that might be it. Make sure we click success on that. I'm just looking at it, that seems to be doing it fine. So let's. Well, we won't be able to see if it's doing it yet, but let's plug it into the tree. So when do we want this to happen? Well, it can only set that, theoretically, when it can actually see the player. So we're going to um, connect it to this talking task on the uh, 
uh, the stirring task here. So well, let's do it before. Um, it is the stir so, tasks. And that's set it up here. Um, I'm a little bit now concerned that we've got this three second delay on in here between times when it talks. Um, if we can do without it saying, I can see you, we could disconnect that. So let's see how that goes. Because otherwise it won't be the, necessarily the last location if uh, the player runs out of sight during one of those gaps, one of those delays. Um, I don't know how realistic that that is. I'm not, to some extent, I'm not that bothered about whether this AI is perfect and you would probably fine tune it in a proper project. What I'm really about is trying to show you the different elements and how they work together. Um, so the other thing that we're going to do is to actually move to the last, known, last known location. So that's going to be our other task. So let's compile and save that. So I'll just leave it. And open the other one up. Where does it go to? Last known location. Right. Once again, we're going to need to get hold of that last known location blackboard key. So we're going to need a, a, a variable, which is a hook to get that. So my LKL. And it's a blackboard key selector. Blackboard key selector. And Ah, uh, I'm going to execute. See if it executes. Finish executes. Okay. Now, what we don't want it to do is to kind of keep moving around and fiddling about when it's actually got to the last known location. So we're going to start off with a check to see if it's actually at that position. So um, to get the current position of the actor, we're going to need to... Um, sorry, of the, the AI, I'm going to get this, which is the uh, cast. So, that's okay. Yeah, control. Um, get control four. Uh, get actor location. Side of it, and we're also going to pull out the last known last known location from the blackboard. So get blackboard value as vector, of course. So if we do an equals check between two vectors, which obviously we can do, because vectors are a bit like floating point numbers, it gives you a tolerance. What we're actually going to do is we're going to raise this tolerance to really quite high. We're going to give it a tolerance of 10. So that's a kind of 10 centimeters if it was a floating point number. Uh, which is going in there. Um, and the reason is we don't mind if it's just near enough. So if it's not too far off, we don't want it to be bothering doing anything else. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do then is a branch out of this. Uh, we need to. We want it to move if it's not at that last known location. Um, and so the node that we want for this. So we're coming out of the false. So it's when the AI character is not at that la that last known location point, it needs to be moving. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, the the node we want is AI move to, and this uses the nav mesh to work out how it can move. So the things, information it's going to need is it's going to need the, a reference to the pawn, which we've got over here, and a reference to the destination, which is what we've got here, which is the last known location key. Make sure we click success on that. And compile. Okay. So let's go back to the behavior tree. Now we set up the um, set last known location there, and um, we're going to do this moving before we do anything else. Um, should it move before it talks, where are you, or should it say, where are you first? Don't know. 
let's put it in here. Um, tasks. So that's the go to last known location. Now, then, what I haven't done is expose these keys. I'm going to do that and compile. And open the other one. Uh, so that's no location. That compile and go back to the C. Because, once again, these, um, these keys have not been plugged into the blackboard yet. So I need to make sure we've done that. So uh, let's go to last known location. Uh, where's the key? MKL. I'm sorry, my LKL. There, and plug it into the actual LKL. The same for this one here. Plug it into my LKL. Right. So we're at a point where time where we can test this out, I think. Let's see what happens. Where are you? She says. Well, she's not saying I can see you because we've taken that away. But she's registered where she last saw me, and she's moved to there. And now she's casting about. I'm going to click up behind her and see if she randomly turns around and sees me. She's spending a while looking. She doesn't seem to be doing the casting about behaviour. I wonder why that is. Now she's seen me. She's lost sight of me, and she's running after me. She's kind of now got quite persistent. <coughs> Excuse me, so she'll follow me round and round. If I hide here, she's got to there. Now, this is slightly weird is that she's uh, moved walking backwards there, so it would have been better to have her, her run in the right direction first. But I'm a little concerned that the casting about behaviour seems to be not happening. Why is that, I wonder? She loses sight of me and has run to that location. I'm going to have to go quite quickly so that she doesn't see me. Hopefully that's people on the corner. She should be somewhere now. Let's see if I can spy on her. Maybe from above. Is she casting about? I'm not seeing the where are you coming up. So let's have a quick look at our behaviour tree and see um, what's going on there. Um... Well, then if I open that, I've got it doing success. It's coming out of the false, that's fine. And the casting is on the other half, isn't it? Um, now it should be here, casting about. Um, so it should be doing this um, go to and then doing the cast task. Let's just try moving those back. And let's see if that works. It's just too persistent. I think I might have an inkling as to what's going on here. Okay, so uh, let's just go into the go to LKL. So one of the things that hasn't happened is what happens if we get a true result here? Which already is at the last known location. We still need to finish execute. So let's try that. Now, there you go. She's got the casting behaviour back. She's always facing the same direction. That's, that's just random variation. Sometimes that happens. Okay. Right, let's see if we can get her to see me whilst I'm up on the um, steps here. That's the easy way to do it, to do this and to trail around. So she's watching me. I'm up here. I drop down. Lost sight of me, what's she going to do? 
She's coming around the corner. She's chasing me. Okay. So there's a few things wrong with this AI. Um, her movement when she turns around is quite sudden. Uh, she doesn't always face me when she's uh, in the right direction, when she's running. So uh, it's probably worth setting the focus to the point that she's running to in the um, go to last, last known location, uh, which might fix that. Uh, there's things to fix, but I hope through this series of videos uh, you've seen most of the elements of uh, AI. I'm going to do one last thing, one last video. Ugh, I feel like I shouldn't say that. I might be adding more onto the series later. We'll see. Um, but I want to show how to get to a Blackboard key outside of the AI system. But I'll do that in the next video. And that's it from me for now. Mm -hmm.